Good day, everyone. This is Unit 0, Preliminaries for Chem 13, uh, specifically for BSRT first-year students. As you open your Google Classroom or your Lens, you will see already on the left part of your screen the structure of the whole course. It consists of nine units. We have the introduction to biochemistry, biomolecules and cells, water, nucleic acids, proteins for unit five, enzymes for unit six, carbohydrates, lipids, and integrated metabolic pathways. But before looking into each of the units, let us check out some preliminaries first, hence your unit zero. And at unit zero, uh, when you open the first entry, which says, Welcome to Chem 13, I've written a lot of things there, but simply I highlighted what this course is all about, which is your syllabus. So we start with why biochemistry and we motivate ourselves on how we will love our biochemistry course. So amongst all chemistry courses that I had back in undergrad, this is the best uh, chemistry so far because we can relate it to what we see in our lives now, in our body. So biochemistry, the chemistry of life, for example, we have here, you can see a girl, a curly-haired girl, and someone who is straight-haired. So I personally is uh, naturally curly. That's what I knew. So it was fun for me to realize that it is because of my DNA that makes me different, that makes my hair different. And specifically looking into the micro, looking into differences in just one nucleic acid, your thymine, the placing of the thymine makes me or my hair different from others. So Theo said that the most difficult thing in life is to know yourself, but it's the most fun thing to do because understanding yourself meaning gives you a lot of understanding of what makes or what happens in your life. So this is your course syllabus. You, uh, I suggest you print it out so that you have a trail of what we are doing or what we have to accomplish until the end of semester. This is a uh, Chem 13 Biochemistry and it's a three unit course. Others have a five units of this because they have two units laboratory. Although we will have laboratory activities that you will do or you can do at home. Uh, for your course, you don't have a prerequisite. Uh, so this must be none. Others have in org, org chemistry and analytical chemistry before taking up biochemistry. So you need to work double time because uh, biochemistry uh, majorly has uh, organic structures that you will be learning. For the grading system, this is subject to approval. You will see that the student activities is only 15%. Quizzes and unit examinations, 40%, and major exam, 45%. So this is what we had uh, during the first week of the semester. We had a meeting with the faculty and dean. Uh, this is what we came up with. Uh, quizzes and major exam, you will see that it's uh, very big because... Uh, we all know that you are a board course um, course. So giving quizzes and major exams are objectively graded compared with student activities. That's why uh, we boil down to this since we know that if you do ha have high grades for your quizzes and major exams, you learn a lot from the activities and the lesson itself. According to Franklin, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. That's why uh, before uh, every semester, I always see to it that I've already uh, laid down what will happen and what should happen within the semester. So first, you will see for chapter one, introduction to biochemistry, 
we have um, all these learning outcomes, teaching references. Uh, uh, we have here your textbook. It will be your like accompanying textbook for this uh, semester. It has already your chapters in it. It's a summary, of course, of your Leninger, Stoker, Grisham, and um, for your learning assessment here, you had your pre-test or pre-assessment online. Then you have activities. It's a series of activities, short activities only. You will have a post-test. And uh, during face-to-face, -face, we will have your uh, Hello, I Love Biochemistry group quiz B for um, chapter one. For chapter two, biomolecules and cells, we will have uh, the same structure, uh, pre-test, activities, post-test, and the picture me and pant me game. So you have two games for this one. For chapter three, water. So we will have uh, another game and uh, film viewing. But before that, we have also pre-test, series of activities, and post-test. For chapter four, nucleic acids, same structure, uh, bingo uh, and bingo group activity. For chapter five, proteins, we will have a game cannabis group activity. For chapter six, enzymes, a bluff group activity. For chapter seven, carbohydrates, a picture picture upload uh, group activity. For chapter 8 would be lipids, another group activity for that. And chapter 9, integrated metabolic pathways. This is uh, the large bulk of your um, finals. It would be um, group reporting. I read uh, your self-introduction forum and you really uh, appreciated the group uh, reporting of uh, each of you. So you will have all these ones. You will be reporting for chapter nine. For your general guidelines or house rules, uh, for attendance, absences may be allowed, but you need to let me know uh, prior to your absence. And it's allowed for not more than 20% of the total 50 hour class hours required. Tardiness, no student is allowed to enter a class 15 minutes after the scheduled time or 15 minutes after the Zoom meeting time. Late work, late compliance, of course, requirements have a corresponding demerit. This is actually 20% uh, less than the full um, grade that you should have so for example you're supposed to get uh 10 points for an activity and but then you submitted it a day before a day after rather so you'll get you'll get eight points instead and so on until zero yon so uh for google classroom i think i won't be able to check how many days you're late so i need to Check it uh, exactly on the due date and the day after and the day after. So I'll be checking it every day uh, compared to lens that you can see or and I can see when really you submitted your output. So you will be waiting for your lens. So um, I think I agree to this. The best strategy in life is diligence. Uh, it's a ways of... Um, talent and skill and knowledge if you are not diligent. So, lahat nakukuha sa sipag talaga. So, kahit pa hindi ka masyadong matalino, kung masipag ka, papasa at papasa ka. Compared to, matalino ka nga, mabilis mong makuha lahat ng bagay-bagay, but hindi ka masipag, still, you will fail in life. Next is on mis-examination. So a special test may be administered uh, for valid reasons, provided the special test is requested immediately. So don't come to me after a month of your exams or quizzes. For academic integrity, you already know this. 
uh, cheating and plagiarism is a no-no for uh, CSU, especially CSU class. So students must observe academic integrity at all times in the performance of their academic requirements. Hence, when you read your um, Welcome to Camp 13, you will see there that for every activity that you will do, you should have written, I did not ask for any assistance in doing this activity or assignment, and then you need to sign. Uh, going to that, uh, you need to um, write your um, activities, handwritten tong mga to. So uh, for those who don't have the books, you need to write it in a uh, bond paper. Uh, letter size of bond paper para uniform lahat. You are not allowed to print the PDF of the activities that I will be giving you. So you need to write it there. For those who have the books, you can cut out. So you will see the scissors at the left side or the right side of that activities. So you can cut that out and then write there. So yun yung isasubmit ninyo. For your activities naman kasi, you don't have to copy very easy mga andon. And it's the learning process that is very important. So kung lalabas yun sa exam ninyo, sa quizzes ninyo, it's easy for you to answer a similar scenario as what it is in your activity if you did it yourself or you did the research or you did the activity by yourself compared to you just copied it or you uh, you use an old notes for that it's much easier remember 15 percent lang yung ating activities 40 plus 45 percent yung sa quizzes and sa major exams natin then behavior in the classroom or laboratory since you are class students i i expect that you must you are always in your proper decorum in classroom so we don't have a laboratory for this finally for unit zero is meeting me as your faculty in charge i call myself faculty in charge not your instructor not your professor since i'll be uh, just a guide on the side in teaching your biochemistry so i'm jinky marie tichua uh, not Ikai Tuliao, uh, Jinky Mariti Chua again. For other sections already that I did my introductions, I already told them that uh, the instance, the, uh, the dean and other faculty members saw the evaluations. And yes, uh, I, 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 I have no name most of the time, but they have Ikai Tuliao because that's what's in my Facebook account. I'm trying to change that. I cannot still uh, change because I, I forgot my password. So again, I'm Jiki Marie Chua, an associate professor of chemistry and research subjects, specifically biochemistry. I'm currently the college research coordinator. I'm a graduate of a master's in public health in Korean State University. Currently, Finishing or completing my dissertation in PhD in Chemistry Education at University of the Philippines, Open University. And I am a graduate of BS Industrial Pharmacy at University of the Philippines, Manila. So that's it for your Unit 0. Thank you. Good morning.